All right, class. Uh, welcome to Bioinformatics, Intro to Bioinformatics. Um, today, this first lecture, we are just going to uh, be looking at how to install uh, what we need for this course. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that started, and I'll talk about it while it's installing. Cause it's going to take uh, I have some time, awkward time, to just sit here and listen to some chill music. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna uh, Google our studio, easiest way to do it. We're gonna go uh, to download. Okay, um, so we're gonna scroll down. We just need the free version. Um, they have some really cool uh, products, um, in, uh, uh, Server Pro and Desktop Pro. Um, we don't need that for this course. It's a little pricey. Uh, but if you get really into it or you want to use it for your business or research lab or something like that, you might want to look into that in the future. Um, so down here are all your options. It should detect um, what you have and what's recommended. So we're going to just click here because I'm using a Windows uh, PC. But if you have a Mac or Linux or whatever else, you can do that too. Um, I actually already have it downloaded to save us some time here. Uh, but once it gets done downloading, um, we're just gonna double click on it. Once I can pull it up here. Uh, right, our studio. It's pulling up, give it a second here. Come on now. Computer doesn't like running uh, Streamlabs and music and downloading and installing and all this stuff at the same time. So. There we go. All right, so it's going to ask me uh, if I can give our studio permission to installed and say yes okay so we're just going to do the basic installation so we're just going to click through next next install um, and so um, this class I kind of want it to be different than any class you've taken before so um, hence the music and just the kind of different feel um, and it's it's going to be short lectures, so I'm aiming for you know 20 minutes, uh, 20 30 minutes per lecture, kind of mini lectures, um, and it's going to be live coding. And what that means is I'm going to be coding this. It's not going to be edited in any way, so you're going to see my fails and suffer through them with me. Um, and because a large part of coding and R is doing the debugging. Right, and so um, there's a giant online community, um, and if you have a problem or an error code, it is almost impossible, infinitesimally unlikely that you're the first to have that error. Um, and so you can Google it, um, and Stack Overflow is a great resource. Our studios uh, got message boards on it. Um, I also have a message board built in uh, for this class uh, for you to ask your classmates for, um, and so. Um, a little bit about R. R is a computer, open source computer language. It's based on S. It's probably the second most uh, used in bioinformatics behind Python. Um, but I chose R for this course because it's something that you can take and use uh, outside of bioinformatics. So if you're going into public health, if you're going to be a doctor, if you're going into psychology, if you're going into anything, um, you can use it for statistical purposes. Um, and we'll eventually use it to do some like differential gene expression stuff, um, RNA-seq data processing. Um, but for the most part, uh, it's much more uh, ubiquitous and, and a great tool to have regardless if you go into bioinformatics or not. And I know a lot of uh, people that are taking this course are, are pre-med. Um, and so, yeah, I hope uh, by the end of this course, you'll be able to actually look at uh, or put it on your resume and say, yeah, I uh, um, 
you know, I know R at least enough to be dangerous, and uh, then you'll be able to, you know, get a six figure job or something. <laughs> Fingers crossed, right? And then, you know, you can always send me a present. No, I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, so this is just about done here. It'll probably be faster on your computers just because, like I said, I'm running a streaming program, I'm running music, I'm downloading this. Uh, so it's, it's gonna be a little slower for me. Um, also, throughout my videos, um, if you are taking this not as a course uh, and you're just enjoying it on YouTube, I found that there's a lot of people that actually watch my uh, videos uh, for developmental biology and molecular biology and genetics um, that are not in my class, and that's great. That's why I put them out there. Um, but you really help me out if you give me a thumbs up, a like, uh, subscribe, um, because there are these cool tools and utilities that YouTube has, um, but you can only access them if you have a certain number of subscribers. And so I'm not, you know, trying to monetize or become the next uh, big streamer. Um, so I just clicked uh, on my RStudio um, file that was downloaded and just clicked through the basic settings. Um, you don't have to do anything custom or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so if you can, uh, you know, help out by hitting that like button or whatever and then I can uh, get tools where I'll be able to actually link to other things. I can put tiles up and stuff you see in all these fancy uh, uh, YouTuber videos. They don't allow you to have that if you're just a little fledgling like I am. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to build a better experience uh, for you all. So we're installing here. It's going to take a little bit of time too. Um, so the nice thing with R, besides uh, you know it being open source and stuff, is while Python is is really good for like hardcore programming, R is a lot more. Um, it's not you're not going to be able to do Internet of Things. Uh, type things and make a lot of you know scripts to control radio cars or, or things like that but it's great for statistics it's fantastic um, there's tons of packages out there so people already have like pre-compiled the code for you so you can just from the R interface and we'll get into how to do this in the upcoming lectures but you can actually just pull codes down um, from CRAN which is a repository um, and you can then just put your variables, your data set in there, kind of tweak it a little bit to go with that uh, package. And then voila, you can do multiple regressions, you can do ANOVAs, you can do uh, all sorts of you know, basic, basic things like t-tests and correlations, but you can get really deep into like hardcore statistics with it if you'd like to. Um, and also it's awesome at uh, making figures. So when you look at uh, you've probably made figures for a class or you know a poster presentation or something and you just used Microsoft Excel and it, you know they all kind of are they're fine but they don't look like if you read a paper uh, from science or from nature you know they have these really professional looking figures um, and a lot of those figures are generated with R. Um, I know because I can recognize the packages a lot of them use now that uh, I'm into it. And so we'll get into that a little bit too about how to uh, make data products in this course um, and those kind of be bioinformatics flavored. Um, but we'll make nice graphs and, and things like that. So these are things you'll be able to take with you um, outside of the bioinformatics field. So. All right, so we're almost done here, filling time. Um, also remember, if you have problems with this or anything, put a message in the comments here if you're not in the course or if you're in the course um, on the course message board. Uh, and I'll try to help you out best I can. Um, 
R code stuff I'm better at helping at than stuff to do with installation in Windows. Um, okay, so we have it installed now. I am going to click on open R Studio. Uh, where are you? There you are. Another thing too, um, with this course, it's best, um, but not required, if you have two monitors, whether that is an iPad that you can watch the video on and then your laptop uh, to actually your desktop to do your uh, coding on or your phone or something, because um, it's gonna be difficult to watch what I'm coding and then switch back and forth to our studio in the same window, or if you have a big enough screen, you can kind of put them side by side. Um, it just makes life easier. So I've got three screens here uh, that I'm kind of going back and forth between. Uh, so I'm gonna pick uh, my default version of R. I know my processor is 64-bit, uh, so I'm click OK. And it's gonna say, problem, you don't have R. So our studio, like I said, is just this GUI that wraps R and is able to uh, make for a better experience. So I'm gonna click yes, I want to install R. Uh, it's gonna take me to the R Project's homepage. I'm going to click on uh, download and I'm going to pick the United States because that's where I'm at, uh, the closest one to me. So the fastest download speed is going to be Texas. Um, and then I'm just gonna download R for Windows and the base version and then click download here. I already have it downloaded um, so I'm going to just start up the actual process here, um, but you'll have to download yours first. Um, so I'm going to start installing it. It's going to ask me for permission to let R access things. I'm going to say yes. Um, we go OK. And like the same thing with our studio. I'm just going to use the basic uh, settings. Um, I don't need a desktop shortcut because like I said, we're gonna be using RStudio as our actual like interaction with R. R is just gonna kind of be in the background behind it. Um, and you can use just R by itself. It comes with a just simple coding window. Um, but the difficulty with that is um, it's not point and click. And I know that's what most people are used to, especially uh, those of you that haven't coded before. So this is, our studio is something to kind of take the edge off and kind of make it a lot less intimidating than if we were to just use the command line interface. Um, if you're somebody using Linux or Ubuntu, um, you can do all of our just through uh, the bash shell uh, command line. Um, that's what a lot of, like once you get into professional coding, everybody just uses shell or IPython notebook or all these different uh, kind of more simple things. But our studio is nice. It's a nice, gentle introduction, so we'll be going with that. All right. So we're just about done installing here. Also, if there are anything, if you're watching this video and there's something specific uh, that you want to learn how to do in R, um, throw a comment down uh, if you're watching on YouTube or uh, put it in the discussion for the class um, and I'll see what I can do about making a video on that. Um, a lot of people are just, this is their first exposure, so they don't even know what R is capable of, but you might be somebody that's like, oh, you know, my this other student did this and it was really cool and I want to do, you know, do something like that with my data or, or whatnot. And just, like I said, a giant suite of tools is available in R um, for all sorts of different fields. Um, so if there's something specific that might uh, interest you uh, for a video being made, um, let me know and I will uh, try to squeeze it into my busy schedule. Imagine sitting here watching this bar movie if we didn't have music on. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I chose to do it this way.
Almost there. All right. So now, uh, going back to my R uh, Studio installation, I'm going to use my default uh, version R64. Like I said, I know I have 64-bit, and it's not going to ask me to install uh, R again because we got it installed. So we have both of the things we need. Those are the two things that we needed: is R and R Studio. And so while this is loading up, one last thing I want to show you is how to just do this quick customization for R. Um, so if you start doing a project with R and you're sitting here staring at it for, you know, an hour, a couple hours, um, you might want to change how it looks. So yours probably doesn't look like this when you load it up. Um, you probably have like all white and it just kind of, you know, blazing on the eyes after a while. Um, so you just go to global options under tools here you can go to appearance um, and there's a bunch of these presets uh, that you can choose um, if you like the lighter look um, you can do that I like uh, this cobalt kind of darker easier on the eyes so I'm gonna hit apply um, what's going on here all right and then just cancel out or hit okay um, and there we go all right so that is it for our first video uh, the next video we'll be doing some basics uh, with R and so uh, stay tuned and we'll look at loading data, uh, data sets and, and simple functions in R and things like that.